Third one. You know those French press formulators? Yes. Yes? Yes. So good. Oh, I see. Do you get what I mean? Yes. So at the same time, if your thunder is really down, that should make you heavier. Right. Right? But kind of to be like the sink plunger, you're, you're kind of doing, your plunger is down, and yet from underneath you, you're trying to think of being hung in a harness. And if somebody picks up the harness, the horse will come too. So if the horse was the keys to your riches, and somebody picked up the harness, the horse will come too. Yeah? So you're not down, 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 squash the horse. Right. And you're not up, 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 and your plunger comes up, right? right? There's a paradox. On your plunger is down, but you're hung in a harness. Right. And if the horse was the keys to your bridge, and someone picks up the harness, the horse would come to you. Okay. Okay. And you're on the right lines here, and, and if you went a little bit more, it would be good. Yeah. So, you know, she's probably a bit more, um, of a typical school boss and tambourine in that she may have an attitude that kind of goes, okay, so prove to me you can write here. That's it. So you may have to prove to her that, you know, you're not just a another human going round and round, but that you can galvanize and bear down and galvanize and suction and galvanize and go. Do you want a bit more floor? Yeah, she's cool enough to go. And yesterday, one of the things I had you do was resist the push on your upper chest. Right. So we were going resist the push on your upper chest. Yes. And you get bear down to happen under your sternum where you have a wall and push against the wall. And then can you get right down to your bikini line level where you have a wall and push against the wall. Yes. Okay. And let me just see you a little bit in trot before I head you down the other end. So just hold the circle up to and let's see in trot. Yeah, the back legs don't work terribly well while she keeps going. So it may take a little while here. Yeah, I do a little warm up at the top but yeah. So, with your plunger down, you're going to stay down even while you go up and down. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Right? And it's at that bikini line level that you've got the push that can push ahead and neck away from you. Alright. And I'm going to have you complete the circle and head down the other end. Feels nice. All right. Yeah. She's on the right lines here. She's beginning to read. She's taking very small steps. Yeah. And uh, we have convinced her hind legs that can move a little bit more than that. You can. She's better down at the kidney night level. That push gets channeled down the corridor made by the arms and the legs. You see, if you can take the circle right out to the end, you see that. That's it. So, can you see her with her along the imaginary line? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and out to the end, out here. I don't like this tri tripod. And across the middle. I have to take it off. Good. Now the next one will get well done. Okay, and you can make a little more go do. Maybe just go kick, tap, tap, and just see if you can make a little more. That's it. Well done. Well done. Good. That was a good response, right? Yeah. Alright. So when you land at the table, what's the shape of her back? Oh, it's like you land on a hollow, a flat surface around. Good news. Yeah. So what we're trying to do here is not have you fall back down that view. So basically, the more weight goes down through your thigh, the more you kneel, the more weight goes down through that thigh. Right? The less you topple down that view, and more from your bikini line, from even deep inside where your service is, the more you can make that push. And think of it pushing creases out of her neck just to pair her with her. That's right. Good. Same good is obviously a bad idea. She's got a lot of world with her. Yeah, that's right. She's got a lot more world to go. <laughs> so what does that do to the hammock shape? She's more flat now. Well done. And have the idea of um, being 
the bridle, you know, where there's no bridle, there's just a bit of rain. Yeah. And you only have the bit of the rain, so your job is to keep the bit in the corner of your mouth and not let it fall out of your mouth or bang against the teeth. Good girl. That's better? That's better? Yeah. Yeah. And maybe shorten your reins a little bit. Okay? And think of the arm and the rein being the corridor, you've got the bit there, you're trying to feel it down the corner of your mouth. Okay? And you're aiming to push the bear down, down the corridor to push the creases out of the neck. But you're still feeling for the bit, so it's not going to fall out of your mouth or bang against the teeth. Okay? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So now it's like you're starting to generate a bit more reach there. That's right. So the second, the next one, that one's like a flat. Uh, flat. Good. Good. Yeah, 
horizontal lever, left knee up, keep the depth in your box. That's it. And beware of lifting left hand, and if you do, you mustn't take the rest of you with it, right? So knee up, horizontal lever, come on, babe, move. So can you make your upper body a little bit more firm and in place? And you might need actually to go chest up a little bit. Not many people need to do that, but thank you for bringing your chest a little bit more through between your elbows. That's it. That's good. That's a good fix for you. Okay. So chest through between your elbows is a good fix. All right. So. With your left thigh on the outside, horizontal lever is easier, right? It's not such a big deal as when it's on the inside. Yeah. But I do notice I'm, uh, I'm tired today too with those muscles. Like, uh, <laughs> even in the warm up, I, can, I find them easier, but they dwindle off pretty fast. Okay. So if this session has to be short bursts, that's fine. Okay. You know, and you, um, you have a lot of say in when you need to work. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's have you take trot here when you're ready. Okay, can you make a bigger thrust? It's going to get you more to the top of the rise. Good girl, and good reaching from her. Well done. And so your plunge down to get your low down, bear down, down at the bikini line level. Pushing the creases out of my neck. Good girl. 
Well done. So good start, Julianne. And you heard me say to some of the others, if there was only a bit of reins and no bridle, yeah. could you keep the bit so it didn't fall out of my mouth or bang against the teeth? Yes. Yeah. That's right. Being the shape of the back and bearing down and pushing your head and neck away, and this is all good. So let's try to change your rein and be really aware with your left side and your horizontal lever. And we also remember the aiming direction with your left thigh. Yes. Yeah, so can you point direction with your left thigh as you keep horizontal lever? And then if we aim to turn and re aim. Pointing direction, horizontal lever, good girl. Well done. Left we aim to turn and re aim. Point direction, horizontal lever. Yeah. Good. That's it. And keep doing that. So keep riding squares. And see if you can do it with. Maybe the reins a little bit shorter, but you're doing a good job. Okay, keep aiming. Remember, you've got to aim really quick, halfway around the corner. Let it begin to turn, re aim. Good, keep aiming, keep aiming. Let it off to turn, re aim. Keep aiming. Well done, keep aiming. Okay, when you let it off to turn, re aim. On this one, really keep aiming. Keep aiming. Okay, good job. All right, so we can change direction here. And if you need to rest, rest. Said that. A rose-colored <laughs> glasses idea of it. <laughs> On a good day, downhill with the following wind. <laughs> okay, but that's good enough. That's good enough. That's good enough. Okay, keep Barry down low down. So right now, her pushback is bigger than your push forward. So can you get your push forward? Yeah, 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 good girl, push the pieces. Good, feel the shape of the back, push and that's the not a, That's a push forward not to go, not to have her go faster, but for her to reach more, right? Just for you to put your tummy in to make the wall, push your guts against the wall and push the pieces out of her neck. Good. Good job. Yeah. Keep steering. Don't run me Keep over. Keep that push forward. Okay. And then come on back to your trot. She's pulling out more tricks out. She's not getting through. Um, no, she's not getting to the left. Still think of riding a square. Okay. Obviously, you can't make the corners too tight. Yeah. But keep, you know, horizontal lever and aim through your thigh, aim through your thigh. Shoot those leaves, shoot yeah. light leaves, aim the power hose. Yeah. Yeah. Water to the hose works well. So aim that power hose, and as you go down this long side, maybe aim it right to the end of the arena, and yeah. you won't ultimately go there. Yeah. Okay, so good start with your sitting. So when you're ready, let's take canter and... Yeah, that's what I was... That's what you were aiming for. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well done. Okay, so aim for your client. Let off the aim, re-aim. Horizontal lever and aim. Good. Let off the aim, re-aim. Keep aiming. Keep aiming. Keep aiming. Let it off, re-aim. Good dog, well ridden. Up. Yeah, so can you again when you can? Steady, yep, so you need to regroup. Keep the lever and aim. Keep aiming. Keep aiming. Okay, let it off. Keep the lever, aim. Good girl. Well done, Julianne. Well ridden. Keep aiming. Keep aiming. Keep aiming. Let it off, re aim. Good. Keep aiming. Let it off, re aim. Well ridden. T R O T when you're ready. Uh, way more forward, it's like a reach here, but where 
where you are receiving her, where she can feel you and you can feel her. Okay, my goodness, you revved her. She would. I'm not quite sure you did that, but you revved it a lot in a good way. Okay, so go sitting. All right, pretty good job. Feel the shape of the back, huh? What's that? Feel the shape of the back. So right now she's pushing back to you. And go rising again. Okay, and as you go rising, your knee is enough and your bear down is enough to reach her. Keep feeling her there on the end of the rain. Say that again, please. As you're rising, yeah. your knee is enough yeah. and your bear down is enough yeah. for her to reach into the rain. Yes. Okay? When you go sitting, you've got to be so hung in a harness that you're not going to squash the middle of her down. So plunge her down? Plunge her down, but also sitting really light. Okay, that's better, good. I know I'm bad at it. And actually, you're not that bad at it. Well, I've seen loads worse. <laughs> okay, go rising again. But my way I've done it all the years where everybody goes, oh, look, you're not bouncing, is to do it all wrong. Okay. Now, this is not going to be easy on her because of who she is and how she moves. But the more you're up there and it can feel like a conveyor belt, the better. Right? Conveyor belt, I don't know. Conveyor belt goes straight along, it doesn't do this. Okay. Right? So you're really wanting it to feel like it goes straight along. So when you sit again, think sit light. That's better, sit like you're hung in the harness. Chest through between your elbows. Pushing the head and neck away. So through your low down bear down, pushing the head and neck away. That's closer to it. And the more you can make it feel like going along on a level rather than having a big up down, the better. I'm not sure how to do that. Okay. Well, I'm not sure how to tell you to do it either, right? But in other words, what I So this is good rising. Slow the legs a little bit if you can. Can you keep the on switch on in her brain with the legs a little bit slower? Good. So when you go from this to sitting, not the legs too slow, that's a bit too slow. Okay, but that's probably about right. So when you go sitting, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. You're trying to be so hung in a harness and so wanting to make it like you're carrying along like it's good there though. Okay, yeah, rise again, that's a rise move. So bail out and rise a little bit. Horizontal lever. Keep steering on a square, probably. Right, legs a little bit shorter. Yeah, so same as you're out through your left thigh. And whenever you feel you can sit again, do. Whenever the back is good enough and you're organized enough, but you're hung in a harness when you sit. Come on, babe, it's nearly over, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> she has so, yeah, they always say that. They lie every time. Good girl, good reaching. 
So can you get Connie and Harmless? Yeah, good girl, good, good, good. Oh, I lost it. All right. 